Hey everyone, season 10 of Fortnite is here and we have so many things to cover so let's get started. In this video we're going to look at the new progression system for season 10. We're going to break the progression system down into three separate parts, the first being battle pass tier as well as play level. The second part we will cover is the missions and the prestige missions. And then the third part will be how these both fit into the zero point challenges as well as unlocking additional styles and cosmetic to equip your battle pass outfits with. The two most basic ways to progress in this season is by either advancing in your battle pass tier or your player level. Now leveling up in this season works just the same as it did in previous seasons, however we now have a challenge tab that features all of the cosmetic rewards you will be unlocking by leveling up your character. I think it's a pretty cool new addition to the game that actually puts more of a focus on player level advancement and you know playing the game as opposed to the four fight system which while I did like it, it didn't really encourage actual playing of the game and you know performing well. What you'll notice quickly when you go over to your challenges tab is that there's no more weekly challenges you know week one or week two. Instead we have this new system of missions and these missions include seven challenges to complete. Once you've completed all seven challenges for any particular mission an option allows you to prestige and get a set of similar but more difficult challenges. A good example of this is how in stage one of the road trip mission there is a challenge that will require you to destroy stop signs. In the prestige version of that mission it's the one that requires us to destroy seven stop signs in a single match while wearing the catalyst outfit which is arguably more difficult to do at the start of this season we have two missions available to go and complete challenges for the first one is road trip and the second one is rumble royale these challenges are pretty similar to weekly challenges although it seems some of them have taken on a bit of a four fight flair where a specific outfit or cosmetic is required to complete the challenge Certain challenges from the road trip mission require the catalyst outfit to be completed and certain challenges from the rumble royale mission will require you to wear the explored outfit in order to complete. Now overall we're going to be getting 10 battle pass missions over the course of the season dished out on a weekly basis much like the weekly challenges of previous seasons. Now two key differences I want to point out here is the first being that we also have a set of 7 prestige challenges for every single set of normal mission challenges that we complete. The other key difference is that challenges from these missions unlock specific rewards. So if you remember, I mentioned some of the road trip challenges required the catalyst outfit to be completed. Along the same line, the cosmetics that can be unlocked by completing specific challenges from this mission will also all be oriented to match the catalyst outfit. I imagine that future missions will have challenges that require you to unlock further outfits in the battle pass and so in this way players will be encouraged to complete the missions for the earlier skins in the battle pass like these first two ones right which will then help you to progress in the battle pass and unlock new additional outfits which then of course give you access to fully completing the later missions in the season that is when they arrive now it might seem like daily challenges have been taken out entirely but they've actually been reworked into what are now called limited time challenges or missions. As you can see in this limited time mission we're getting a challenge every single day over the course of an entire week and so that's daily challenges for a whole week although I'm not sure if we can pick and choose what we're doing so we'll have to see what these challenges entail. But I'm guessing we're going to get a new limited time mission every single week consisting of 7 challenges that are dished out on a daily basis over that week. Now unlike daily challenges which can be accumulated up to a number of 3 and then completed at any given time, these challenges can be accumulated up to a number of 7 at the end of that week for the limited time mission. Um, and the caveat is that once the week ends you lose access to all of those missions. So it makes for maybe a little bit more flexible schedule in terms of completing your daily challenges. You don't have to get on daily and you can actually let them pile up a little more. But if you don't get to them at some point within a week, you will lose access to them. Also, if you have a challenge pack like the Breakpoint Challenge Pack, which I've made a video on before, which require you to complete daily challenges in order to progress and you know receive rewards from, well now what you can do is complete these limited time mission challenges and those will take the place and progress you through those challenge packs. So hopefully that clears up any confusion. There's one final layer of progression wrapping up this whole mission system which is the zero point challenges. Now there's only five of these for the entire season and they are pretty big feats to complete for each of them. The first will require us to reach battle pass tier 100. The second requires us to unlock rewards from missions. I'm assuming the cosmetic items and we need 12 of them. 
the third is to complete all 10 battle pass missions, the fourth is to complete all of the prestige missions, and the final one is to be revealed, so whatever that means. Now the only two really significant rewards we get from these challenges is after we complete three of them, we'll get an additional style for the new Sparkle Supreme outfit, and after we've completed all five, we'll get an additional style for the new Tier 100 Ultima Knight outfit. Now I don't really see anything visually that sets these apart as being special, um, one compared to the other styles that you can get for these two outfits. That being said, they will be very rare or very difficult to get at the least, and so that alone kind of makes them pretty cool. And that pretty much covers this entire new mission progression system of Season 10. I think it's a system that seems to have some big benefits to it, and I'm interested to see how this all plays out. Those are my thoughts on this new progression system, you can share yours in the comment section below. That's the end of the video, I hope you liked it, if you did you can let me know by giving it a like, and if you want to be notified for future guide videos from this channel, all you need to do is subscribe and click the bell icon. I'll leave it there, have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday, and as always, thanks for watching.